sure? Oh yeah, it's good. So this is a little baby boy, murdered by abortion, legally murdered by abortion in the United States of America, and a little baby girl in the third trimester, legally murdered in Texas. Because of our godless U.S. Supreme Court ruling in 1973, Roe versus Wade. I want to say something to the Christians. First and foremost to the Christian Americans who can hear my voice. We have come here, some of us from North Dakota, we've driven across the country to preach repentance. Repentance. Gospel of repentance. The liberties we enjoy in the present the United States of America, and by the way, we are no longer united. Have you looked around? We are no longer united. So let me say the formerly, the formerly United States of America, because we are as divided, we are as divided in this country as we have ever been since the days of the war between the states, since the days of the so-called American Civil War, we are divided. And the foundation, the basis on which we got our rights, our First Amendment rights, our Second Amendment rights, our Bill of Rights, that generation ruled from the Great Awakening. The Great Awakening, a time when the people of America humble themselves before the Creator. I love abortion. 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 Millions of people, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, repent, humble themselves before God. If we do not repent. For murdering God's children, there is no hope for America. The only hope for America is the Lord Jesus Christ. We must repent. I've seen signs that say Black Lives Matter. The most largest ethnicity that is being aborted and has been aborted for decades in this country are black Americans. Murdered at a rate that exceeds every other ethnicity in this country. That is eugenics. Those unborn black lives matter. They matter. They matter. And if we do not repent for what we have done to God's children in this country, the Lord Jesus Christ will continue to allow us to be enslaved to lies. Do you ever look around you? You see fake news everywhere. You see lies everywhere. How did the lies get so strong? They got so strong? I'm telling you because we fed that monster. We fed that beast. That's why it got strong, because we fed it by lying that a person is not a person. By lying that an innocent person does not have the right to live and, to, and the right to enjoy the protection that you and I enjoy. By, by not defending them, we're talking Christians now, we must repent, we should never have obeyed, is anyone hearing me, we should never have obeyed Soda. we should never have obeyed Roe versus Wade. The day that genocidal judgment came down, 1973, we should have said no, we should have refused. No court has the right to strip people of their inalienable right, the right that comes to God, to live. No one has the right to do this, and if we do not repent now, 
even at this late hour, there is no future for this country except for judgment, judgment, division, more lies, more slavery. I want life. Don't you want life? Life is in the Creator, the Creator of these children. And when we repent for murdering God's children, God will forgive us when we sincerely repent. But until we repent, there is no hope for America outside of repentance. There is no hope for America outside of repentance. I pray that that young lady, Amy Cohen, Tony Barrett, will do the right thing. May God give her courage. But we shouldn't have waited all these years. We shouldn't have waited for, for old just, justice, so-called injustice, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, to grow. We should have defended these children decades ago. We should have defended these babies yesterday. It is a lie that the U.S. Supreme Court has the right to strip categories of people of their right to defense. The preborn deserve the same defense as the born. Let me say that again. I'm saying the preborn, including the black preborn, the white preborn, the brown preborn, whatever level, level of melanin, I don't care. The preborn person, preborn person, deserve the same.